following program is suitable for family members. Well, one family member is enjoying it too. Hello, my name is Carol Achille and I will be your lovely host for today's episode of Taste Buds. Okay, well, obviously food is sustenance of life, but it gets a bit annoying when it's repeated over and over again. And we here in Africa, I mean guys, this carbohydrate, we all know that. But it's exhausting. Stew, tomato, tomato, over and over again. And this kind of led to the pressure of me creating something out of the box, something we use every day, but you know, you know you wouldn't use it in the sauce, so I did just that. So um today I will be making you carrots and uh, well, carrot sauce and pasta and of course I'm going to be giving you some lovely stuffed fish. Uh, in a moment I will go through everything with you, but in the meantime, um obviously of course, some carrots, loads of pepper, I love my pepper. Spaghetti, fresh parsley, um, I've got spring onions here, and some lovely amazing flavour to food. Let's not talk about garlic. This is uh, this is magic, isn't it? Really? Um, this is very healthy. Ginger, of course, onions. Um, I've got croaker fish here, which I have already turned into a flapjack. Um, I do this in order to let the, um, the spice that I'm going to stuff the fish with sink in. So I'm going to be putting some garlic in there, some fresh parsley and of course some um, spring onions and all of this just sits in and sips into it and then we're going to put it in the oven to put it. And of course um, my ingredients include pepper, carrots, um, spaghetti, parsley, spring onions, ginger, garlic and of course some um, onions. Uh, I've got sugar here, salt, baggy and um, well this is my desserts, apple, crackers and whipped cream and I'm, I'm sure you're wondering what you're about to perform. It will be magic, it will just be a delicious meal. So in order to get all that taste into the fish, I have opened it up, you know, it's really simple. All you have to do is take the head off, you know, cut off the fins and then stick the knife right down the middle and, you know, there you go, it got yourself a nice little flat. So in here, I'll, I'm going to slice up everything I need to go in, I'm just going to put it in there, clean it up, put some maggie in it for taste and then stuff in the oven. So um, if you watch closely, it's really easy, certainly you can get it as well. Okay, for my desserts, well, it's not magic, it's just candied apples and whipped cream. Uh, for it not to be too sweet, you know, I'm using some uh, well, salted biscuits and um, this just holds down the sugar a bit, also giving it that amazing taste. And then a little whipped cream on it to you know, just make it melt into your mouth like clouds. Okay, well, let's start with the most important thing, which is stuffing the fish so that everything else can come together. So that is, well, that's for desserts, but um, you will see all the magic happen right in your eyes, as long as you stay tuned. Welcome back, I'm still here, and I'm glad you're back. I haven't done much yet, so I want to ensure you see every bit of the process. So first off, I'm going to do a little chopping, you know, preparation. We'll have to do a little prep on whatever it is we're doing. Um, well, this is spring onions. I really like the music when I'm cooking, but you know, if I was playing any kind of music right now, you can to hear me. So I'm just gonna have a lovely conversation with you instead. You know, it's always best to have a mate with you or you know, someone who can help, but this is all on me. Sometimes actually you not know, advisable to do this while you have, you know, these on. If you can manage, you can manage. Don't be lazy to run out of the task. Uh, just be careful you don't slice yourself and the knife's not too sharp. So, not all of this is going into the fish. Some of it is going to the fish, and then the majority of it is going to go into the carrot sauce. So now that I'm done with this, I'm going to move on to my pepper. I love spicy food. I think pepper just adds a certain something special to it.
I'm actually not a professional chef, but when you have a passion for something, you know, you take joy and pride and you thrive at it. That's why most of the time, you know, it's always advisable to do a job that you love so that way you can give it, you know, 110% as opposed to just chucking in 10% and basically So yes, food is my passion. I love creating new food. I like putting things together, watch it come out of a beautiful jiggly in your mouth. So. Some of you don't like pepper too much, well, hot spicy food. And if you don't, you know, you just put the quantity that suits you and then you the rest. Some of you are wondering, oh, why is she using her hands to chop this? I am not claiming to be Wonder Woman today. God, no. I can't cry, so um, I'll do the bicycle to this before. Gets the work done in record time. And um, well, it's often not good enough to do this. Peppers that I have currently sliced up is just for the fish alone because I want it to have a really, really lovely spicy taste on it. You know, those lovely grilled fishes we like to buy outside, but this is not over the top. This is going to be stuffed inside it. So that way the pepper gets to sip into the fish. You know how it is? You put fish on the fire one moment and the next minute it comes up and the spice is all over the body, you know, and never actually goes in. If you have time to do a 24 hours marination, chop all of these up, stuff it into the fish, wrap it up with some cling film and throw it into your freezer. You know, give that maybe like four or five hours properly frozen and then put it in your fridge. So that way it doesn't stay hard up and when you're ready to put your fish in the oven, it's really nice and soft and just goes in quickly and all the flavors, all the flavors definitely sit in. I always advise overnight marination, 24 hours, 48 hours, depending on what it is. It's just lamb, you know, 48 hours, man. With a little red wine in there. It's fish, you can actually use red wine as well. But I advise for fish, white wine. White wine is always best for fish. Okay. And this is fresh parsley. As opposed to the dry ones that we always used to warm. So a fresh one just adds a certain shinnessy quality. It's just it's wonderful. And last but not least for the fish is garlic. You know, if you don't like garlic, you don't have to use it. It's not necessary, you know. Different strokes for different folks, you know. I, I, I love this. I can put in everything I want, but I can't. So I pick and choose the moments where it goes in. Uh, I'm actually going to use more than two cloves, but just so you can see. I'm going to put two of these. And most of the time, you really don't have to stress yourself pulling um, the garlic out. If you've got a grater, you can just rinse off the, you know, break it off from the main bunch and then rinse it off and grate it. The pills are currently healthy as well, so we can use that. We can try to grow your hair or something. But yes, it's very, very healthy.
really easy to keep. I got tired of trying so hard to peel it. These small ones are even worse. The big ones, they may even come off quick enough. These tiny ones, those are the ones I actually advise you great. You know, it takes forever to yank the skin off, excuse me. And you know, that time is time you could have used to, you know, prep something else for your meal. Time saved, man. You really just don't like spending all day in the kitchen, contrary to me. You know, walking first century women who want jobs as well. <laughs> So if you're good at chopping, you know, you can make this really fine, you know, smooth and all of that. If you're not, hey, do what you can. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's the fish that's getting all of it. You're just going to end up the end result. So most of the time, I chop it up big so I don't cut myself. You know, in fact, I'm a more professional chopper. And then I take a moment out to lay it out and chop them all up. Hello. So as you can see, I have cleaned up my area. You have to. It's always best to just. Give yourself that clean room so that you can see what you're doing. So, necessarily, you don't have to use this particular fish. You can use whatever it is to suit you. You know, the usual um, type of fish, mackerel, or red snapper, well, whichever it is that you know floats your boat. So as long as you flip the boat in like this and stop it. So, first off, we're going to stop with the food. You know, you know, you know, certain it's clean you know, hygiene very very important um if not you can just lay this on your baking tray you know put some thin film or paper on it cover it so it can steam for a while i'm going to do all of this for you to see so just hang on for a moment hello oh, okay. you're welcome break. once again and we're back yes i am still trying to make you some lovely delicious food well unfortunately you won't be tasting it but it 
if you're like me and you like good things, you know, all you have to do is grab this lever downstairs and you'll take the story. Okay, now moving on, um, I'm going to use some of this and then I'm going to put a little oil in the pan so it doesn't first of all like a stick and also, you know, toss it by just a little bit and get it roasted. Um, and of course, some of this one as well. I also advise salted broccoli and salted broccoli. Well, skilled veterinarian can't save it, so And uh, hopefully, it's fish. It never takes too long, so give it take 30 45 minutes. It should be up with the oven. Hand in on the heat sheet that's on it, so remember, I'll just turn you on top of my screen. Okay, so we're going to move on to the main course, but first off, I'm going to clean my prawns, which is just an added flavour to the carrot sauce, and I'm just going to clean the prawns and that. Uh, it's always helpful to try and fix this big so clear with that. So my carrots, I know you've been wondering what am I going to do with this, how she's going to make this into sauce. Well, I'm not going to puree it, I'm going to grate it. Okay, so at least it still stays in my nice and sauce. So, um, please hold this up and I was just, you know, health reason. Never eat to care for too much these days. Everything's in the air. Uh, we Africans seem to be extremely resilient to keep the kids in food. So, again, the better. So, uh, it can take a second, just give it a nice little scrape. Get some of the bottle. Some of that lovely soil as well. We're so blessed in Africa and we So um, I'm, I'm just going to do about four of them, yeah, I'm not feeding too many people here, just um, me and some people since what happens, but uh, if you've got a large family then you can bring your carrots to yeah, ocean or the size of a pot of sauce in the one in the middle. I'm so proud of this, my invention. I mean, I've had days when I've made this meal and I've had friends come over and by the time they're done, there's nothing left of it. So I'm hoping it's going to give you that same satisfaction when you try it. So, yes. Um, I'd rather use the big ones, you know, without coffee and seeds, time, grace, and whatever. Except for health, they're seeing really good for them, that is it. to happen in the other place so it's always best to use a big bowl so you don't lose too much of it. Okay, that's it for that and um, at the end of the day this is what comes up with you know big chunks of grated carrots usually we all use for salad so we don't have to do this but I rather have this like this so that way when you put in the pan you know the Juice from the carrots gets a sip of the food as well. Just mix 
Well, yes, this is still taste buds, and I am trying to water your taste buds by showing you some lovely dinner pieces. Today it's all about carrot sauce and of course some lovely pasta and a little cheeky. Like I said, I am going to put some um, some ginger in this, so I've peeled that up already, and I'm just going to slice up. I'm not going to use all of this, as we know ginger is really strong, so you just take as much as you want, and um, I'm trying to measure the quantity to, you know my carrots most important thing. Uh, so I'm just going to give this a chopping quickly. And then I'm going to go for the onions. Like I said, I don't want any of it. It's just very strong. Okay. Yes, I'm sure you're thinking, you use spring onions already. Why are you using onions? Well, that's why they call spring onions. It does a little chicken and say the babies now. This adds a different flavor to food. I'm still going to use some of this stay. So as you can see, I've been doing a lot of prep work while you lot were enjoying the adverts. I have put you know, some water on the fire, got myself a pan, put some oil roasted as well. Uh, well, like I say, every little helps really. So if you've got a kettle, electric kettle and if never graces you with lights while they're trying to make the meal you could uh pour some water in your kettle and you know save yourself some gas every little helps so um, i poured myself some water and then put my pot on fire you know. spaghetti prepping for it and uh, i always advise you know depending on if you're watching your calorie intake or generally a health not or a non-existent help not like most of us are here because we consume a lot of gas and we really need to be careful so for those of us who you know watch our health and all that you could um look, always use uh um, oil less calories but i always advise you put some some of this into your water bowl pasta and this is for the first boil because pasta has a lot of carbohydrates in it. I, I advise you actually wash it just the way you would do rice. You know, it comes out cleaner, less carbs, you know, lighter as well. So I'm just going to chop all of this in there. And of course, as usual, I always use some of this. I don't know, 